Philadelphia, police are now being added to public transportation after several violent episodes, including a deadly shooting on a bus. Police planning to crack down on crime following a recent spate of violence that has seen three shootings in as many days. City officials say that crime overall is down, but that gun violence is an issue that just refuses to go away. I do want to bring in Mavita Johnson Harrell now, former Pennsylvania state representative and founder of the Charles Foundation. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Good evening, Natasha. Thank you for having me on. Let's talk about this um, headline first. We know Philadelphia city officials are moving to add police officers to public transportation, and there have even been calls to add uh, National Guard troops as well. Now, the governor is saying that will not happen. What do you think needs to happen? So I think several things need to happen. We need to implement more strategies that are going to give these young people the skills that they need so that they don't pick up the guns in the first place. You know, we have young people with the lacking of conflict resolution skills and anger management skills and easy accessibility to guns. And that's what you're seeing here in Philadelphia. I see. Is, is um, police presence the right move? Is it a step in the right direction on public transport? I think right now, just making sure that the general public is safe, absolutely, we need to do that. But then we have a problem that's been long term. This isn't new in Philadelphia. It's not new in this country. It's mm. been ongoing. And I mean, when you disinvest in specific communities, this is the result. You know, I know this subject is personal uh, for you. You have lost five family members to homicide, including two sons to gun violence. First of all, I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened and, and how does this factor into your work every day now? Thank you, Natasha. Yeah, so I saw my father murdered when I was eight years old, Easter Sunday, 1975. I lost my only brother, July 1st, 1991. I lost a cousin who was being a peacemaker at a New Year's Eve party. He was about to graduate Fox Temple School of Business. He was trying to break up a fight between two boys. One of them turned around and put a gun to his chest. So I did everything in my power to protect my children, even moving from Philadelphia. And three years to the day that I left Philadelphia, I buried my young youngest son, Charles, he came into the city to pick up his sister. Two boys walked up to the car. I had just bought my daughter and put four bullets in him because they thought he was someone else. Mm. And then 10 years later, my last surviving son, Dante, who's still on the front line of gun violence with me, went to California for a long weekend trip and was shot and killed in a random drive-by. Oh, Mavita, I'm so sorry. And I know that the Charles Foundation continues to do such good work as a result of all of this. Your resilience is remarkable. I do want to ask, what makes buses and public transport so particularly dangerous? You have this concentration of young people. They will always be in that space at a given time. And just like what happened in your family, there are cases of mistaken identity that happen there as well. Absolutely. So the violence that you're seeing at these substance transport stations, Natasha, are actually predictable violence, right? So what's going on is they're having these social media beasts, they're having these conflicts over respect and girls and music, and it's spilling out onto the streets. And the one thing that they know is when these are young people, they're going to school. And it's typically public knowledge where they go to school and what time school lets out is public knowledge. So it's very predictable. When someone is being targeted, they know where to catch. Them. Yeah, Mavita Johnson Harrell, I wish we had more time, but thank you so much for joining us. And again, there is something incredible about taking what you've been through and doing the work that you continue to do. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.